fires and flames that, on an average, their uh, ball tracking is about 20% uh, off step four, measuring speeds accurately. Today, we'll be doing an experiment to test the serve speed based on our pocket radar device. So we hypothesized that swing vision serve speed measurements would be consistently lower than those recorded by a pocket radar. But we also wanted to see if there were any patterns depending on whether the serve was in, out, or hit the net. So if you're just looking at these numbers, then uh, one can say that uh, whatever swing vision is claiming is accurate. It, most people overestimate their serve speed. Averages always don't tell the story. Did you find anything else? <laughs> but that's not all. So for the balls that went in, it is pretty accurate you're saying, right? Yes. Our net data was staggering. So that is way off. Yes. So that was giving us a difference of 42% the net, their readings become drastically off. Yeah, so something fundamental is that I'm throwing at you. Hey, welcome to Ramos Coach. I'm a very active tennis player and I use uh, Swing Vision. Now, one of the common concerns that people who use Swing Vision raises about the accuracy of the serve speed. It doesn't matter me particularly because uh, I play at around 4 levels and the speeds are not the top of my mind. But however, the fact that this is uh, such an important factor for a lot of people made me want to do a simple experiment to figure out how accurate it really is. Swing Vision claims that they're, on an average, their uh, ball tracking is about 20% uh, off what you measure with uh, devices that are dedicated for measuring speeds accurately. So we are going to do an experiment. I have with me Jarvis today. <laughs> hey, how are you? Hey everybody, I'm Jarvis, data analyst with Robby Lobby, and today we'll be doing an experiment to test the serve speed based on our pocket radar device in comparison to the Swing Vision app. All right, and how are we going to do it today? So we're going to do 50 serves from each side of the court, the near and far side, with 25 serves from the uh, deuce and 25 from the ad side. So about 100 serves in total. Yes, and we'll be mixing up our serves and getting a good calculation or good data to play with. Okay, so for each serve, you're gonna call out the serve speed, right? Yes. All right, so so at the end of the experiment, we will have uh, hopefully speeds registered using pocket radar for 100 serves in various settings. And we will also have our uh, on the fence. And uh, we will be comparing Hello, we are back in our studios. Jarvis and I did an experiment where we compared the serve speed of swing version versus a pocket radar. So, and uh, here we are. So Jarvis, do you want to talk about how we went ahead with the experiment and tell us about your hypothesis? Uh, absolutely. Thank you, Robbie. So we hypothesized that swing vision serve speed measurements would be consistently lower than those recorded by a pocket radar. But we also wanted to see if there were any patterns depending on whether the serve was in, out, or hit the net. Yeah, our hypothesis is based on the fact that uh, Swing Vision themselves claim that uh, uh, their serve speed is about 20 miles per hour off. What would you observe using typical radars? Mm -hmm. And the reason they are saying is uh, their serve speed computation is based on image processing, mm -hmm. where they track a ball moving across a screen. Whereas uh, devices like Pocket Radar uses radio waves, mm -hmm. uh, which is how uh, speeds are measured mm -hmm. in real games, right? Yeah. So, uh, I mean, um, uh, people are okay with that, and I was under that impression too, and uh, went along for nearly one and a half years or so until I figured out, uh, hey, why don't we invest in a Pocket Radar and figure out for ourselves? So, 
so tell us about uh, the methods, our experiment method. Our absolute experiment was to test 50 serves on our near side. We had 25 on the deuce and 25 on the ad sides of the court. For each serve, we used pocket radar to record the speed and simultaneously recorded the serves with swing vision. That gave us two sets of data, the swing vision data and the pocket radar data. Yeah, so uh, obviously we, we wanted to collect uh, on the near side and far side, but unfortunately rain interrupted right about mm-hmm. the time when we were doing with the near side. So, so all we got was about uh, 50 serves, but Jarvis has uh, the analysis for us. Yes, so we collected the speeds and other serve results, like whether the serve was in, out, or hit the net. Unfortunately, like you said, the rain had interrupted our, in the middle of the process, so we got 50 serves, but that was still more than enough to complete the data. Here's what we found. On the ad side, Swing Vision reported an average speed of 50 miles per hour, while Pocket Radar showed 66 miles per hour, giving us an error of 24. Mm-hmm. On the deuce side, Swing Vision reported 54 miles per hour, while our Pocket Radar showed 69 miles per hour, giving us an error of 22%. Yeah. So that, that's actually closer to the 20% uh, give or take, right? Mm-hmm. So if you're just looking at these numbers, then uh, one can say that uh, they're whatever swing vision is claiming is accurate. It, uh, I mean, there is a psychological aspect. So already our serves are really slow. Yeah. If pocket radar is showing an average of 70 miles per hour, it, most people overestimate their serve speed. I actually mm-hmm. serve pretty decent, at least yes. I thought so. And playing it, and uh, I, I'm playing legitimately at uh, high three five four oh level. So. For that level, if all I'm getting is around 70-ish miles per hour, it's bad enough. But then if swing vision says the average is 50 miles per hour, you know, that's a huge jab to the ego. Uh, Because uh, people don't have other frame of reference. Mm. Because they watch Mm. pros. I mean, uh, uh, pros and uh, uh, men's tour, like uh, most of the first serves are over 120 plus miles per hour. Even second serves are high hundred. So I can understand if people are you know, yeah, <laughs> worried so about nice. it. But if you just look at the numbers as an average, this swing vision claims looks okay. But, uh, you know, uh, averages always don't tell the story. Did you find anything else? <laughs> but that's not all. We have numbers like this we want to analyze by any factor of interest. The swing vision gives in the data set the results of the serve. So we analyze it by the result of the serve. We got three average numbers. And it was really, really tell. What we found was when the ball went in, Swing vision is actually as accurate. For the balls that went in, pocket radar showed us an average speed of 69 miles per hour. However, for our swing vision, it showed us an average speed of 65 miles per hour. That's very close. Mm. So what is the error rate then? The error gave us, it was a 6% error rate. Wow. That is really close. Mm. I mean, given that it's recording with a camera mounted on the fence, 6% Mm. is nothing. Mm. So for the balls that went in, it is pretty accurate, you're saying, Mm. right? Yes. And how about the balls that went out? Yes. So for the balls that went out, pocket radar gave us an average speed of 68 miles per hour, whereas swing vision showed us an average speed of 61 miles per hour, giving us a difference of 10%. Okay. I would still say it is significantly less than a 20%. Mm. So so I can already see what's coming. If the error is significantly reduced between in and out, meaning these two are the balls that cross the net and went the other side, the only thing that's missing is the net. Yes, so our net data was staggering. Where pocket radar showed us an average of 64 miles per hour, swing vision was giving us, giving us an average of 37 miles per hour. So that is way off. Yes. So that was giving us a difference of 42%. So that's interesting. So for my serves, swing the pocket radar was giving around 65 miles per hour, give or take, right? Mm-hmm. And the swing vision, when the ball was in or when it's going out, was giving around the same. And when the, if the ball hits the net, it's completely off. Mm. It's almost reporting about half, you said, right? Drastic. From 60, 65 average to about 30. 37. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So that's revealing. So if somebody wants to just look at the balls that went in, they can go by the numbers. But unfortunately, those numbers are not available through the app. So it's a, mm-hmm. but, but, but it's available as a CSV file. People can download it and take a look at it. Mm-hmm. And that is very interesting. That is very interesting. Yeah, great find. Well, good news for you, Robbie. I have a scatter plot with all the data built up. You want to take a look at this? See, that plot is interesting. So what I'm saying is on the x-axis, it is the swing vision speed. And on the y-axis, it's the pocket radar speed. And the 45-degree line is... uh, So if these two devices are perfect, then every shot will be on the 45-degree line. 
But look at the distribution, like for the balls that were in, that is literally hugging the 45 degree line, right? And even the balls that uh, went out, meaning that just went past the net, but uh, sprayed around, they're also kind of trending along the same line. Some very marginal error. Uh, I think it's, in fact, uh, that almost tells me like uh, it is aligned, but slightly off slope, or maybe... Maybe some constant adjustment might <laughs> make it more accurate, you know. <laughs> so, but the net distribution, the red, red, red balls uh, clearly show that those are the shots that made it to the net and they're completely off. However, even though the swing vision is showing half of what pocket radar is showing on average, but I still see that trend being consistent. You see more or less the line going from bottom to top almost at the same slope, but it's maybe slightly steeper. We can plot it and, uh, and I, you know, <laughs> I mean, uh, if you look at the uh, equation right there, if swing vision, I, I'm just joking, okay, but if swing vision just fits that equation, uh, just for the balls that hit the net, okay, hypothetically, whenever the ball hits the net, they don't just report whatever they're reporting now, but fit to that equation, there suddenly I feel like uh, their reported speed will be almost as accurate as pocket radar speed. This is great. This is fascinating find, Jarvis. So what's your conclusion? Uh, my conclusion would be that swing vision actually has a pretty fair reading of serves that go over the net, whether that be in or out. However, once the serve touches the net, their readings become drastically off. Yeah, so something fundamental is there. I'm thrilled actually with this find. What next? I would love for you to go out and do the full experiment. Mm -hmm. so we should probably go out and take some more serves on the far side as well as the near side. Let's see if we can get around 200 total serves. Are you down for this? <laughs> 200 is pushing it. <laughs> I do, yeah, 200 is pushing it. I, I mean, I'll do it, then I'll just hurt for four days. But, but you know what we can do? I'll recruit a couple of my friends so we can do, because it really shouldn't matter who's serving. And uh, then let's see if that if there is any variability because of this. Oh, yes. That sounds great. Thanks, man. That great. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more experiments. And remember, sometimes the obvious isn't so obvious until you test it. All right. Thank you. Thanks for joining.